So in this week's video, I'm going to show you guys how you speed wrap on a Nikon camera or any DSLR or just any camera in general for your professional looking videos. You rolling? Mic test one, two, one, two. My name's Peter and in this video, I'm gonna talk exactly about what is speed wrapping. And yes, you can do this for your Nikon cameras, entry level, as long as you have something that shoots 60 frames or above, or in other words, slow motion. So the basic foundation of what speed wrapping is, is exactly what it sounds like. You're taking a speed and you wrap it up or you wrap it down. In other words, let's have a very specific example. You take something that's filmed and you slow it down on a 24 frame timeline and you have it slow motion and then you speed it up and then you slow it down again. Or the variation of a second type of speed wrap is you take a fast motion and then you slow it down and you speed it back up again. Or you have something super slow speed it up and then have it slow again. So essentially think of it as a ramp. You take your point A, point B, and then point C. And that's all speed wrapping is on any kind of video. And you'll usually see a lot of people use speed ramps on music videos, on any kind of cinematic, any kind of fashion related videos. And it's a very good tool or effect to use, but just like any other effect, you don't want to over use it. So when it comes to having actually speed wrapping footage, there are some key things that you need to know. Number one, like I said, you want to make sure that your film, your video is filmed at a frame rate that's higher than 24 frames per second, most preferably 60 frames, 120 frames, and the more frame rates and slower you can film, the better and smoother the footage will look. The second tip that you wanna make sure is when you're filming in slow motion and you want to have your subject moving or with the action moving, you wanna have the proper shutter speed. So if you're filming in 60 frames per second, then you wanna film a shutter speed at one over 120. And if you're filming at 120 frames per second, then you want a shutter speed of one over 240 or whatever 120 times two is. So you always wanna double your frame rate so you can slow it down in post-production. But let's get into the more nitty gritty when it comes to filming within Adobe Premiere when it comes to speed wrapping. It's pretty simple. So as you can see here on my timeline, what I have is a clip that is already slowed down and filmed in 60 frames per second and put into a 24 timeline frame per second. And you can see there is slow motion going on. But to actually get into the speed wrapping and how you get that fast to slow, slow to fast, is what you need to do is, you know, right click on your clip, go all the way down, show clip keyframes. Then you want to go into something called time remapping and then make sure speed is clicked. Once you have speed clicked, what you need to do is, depending on the size of your timeline, you might not be able to see the, the keyframes. So you grab the track that the video is on, make it big, and now you want to zoom in to your timeline. Now that you're zoomed in to your timeline, what you want to do is you want to figure out where you want to slow down the clip or where you want to speed up the clip. So for example, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to make it super simple. So in the beginning, what I'm going to do is you need to understand that um, the overall what I'm trying to do now is have a really fast clip to start with to slow to fast. So I start off with understanding that this middle line here, as you can see the percentage, since you right clicked it and the keyframe itself now is matched to speed, if I scroll this up, the clip itself is now faster. If I pull this line down, the clip is slower. But you need to know that 100% is the lowest that you should go because anything lower is going to get a little choppy. So our first goal is to have something go really quick. So I go something along the lines of, uh, let's say, 800. And then I want to slow down once the bikes come. So right there. So what I would do is I click this button here. It says add or remove keyframe. And then what you'll see is Adobe Premiere would have added this little 
two little arrow thingies here. So essentially what that does is it tells Adobe to be like, hey, this is where I want to change some kind of speed here. So the clip next to it where you put that keyframe, you want to drag the line next to it, drag it all the way down to 100. Now it should go fast to slow. But that might be okay for some people, but I like to have my slow to fast speed ramps or fast to slow a little bit more smooth. And if you zoom in a little bit more here, you can see that there's these two little indicators. What you want to do is you want to drag this a little bit more. And essentially what it is doing, it, it's smoothing out the going from 800% to 100% much more smoother than a very rough cut. So that is a lot smoother, but on top of that, what you can actually do is you can curve the ends of where it actually drops off in the speed. So you click in the middle and you'll see this little blue thing here. And what you want to do is just match it. So then it curved into the speed ramp. Now what you have is a lot smoother speed ramp. So this is what we have fast, 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 and to slow. And then what you need to do afterwards is you want to speed it up again. So let's say I want to speed it up there, click the keyframe, drag the line next to it all the way up, all the way up, zoom in again, do the exact same thing. And you can also change where the keyframe is. Click the middle, drag the blue so it makes a more smoother speed ramp. Now you have the essentials of a speed ramp. So let's see that from beginning, slow, slow, slow. And then you pick up where you want to speed it up. And that is your essentially how you speed ramp. Very basic tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. Doesn't matter what version. Now you know exactly what speed ramping is, and it's the process of taking a clip that's slow or fast, changing its speed again, and then changing back down again. So think of it as a ramp or a bump. And you wanna use this for things like any cinematic, making things look film-like, making things look more epic, like sports or actions, or you wanna take something that's filmed and you wanna slow it down and speed it back up. And the common, I'd say the stereotype when it comes to speed rapping is in skateboard videos where a guy's on skateboard, he does a trick, it slows down and then speeds back up once he lands. That is like the typical idea of what you want to think speed rapping is. It's good for walking subjects, it's good for any kind of action shots and those are the basics of speed rapping. It's not difficult. And the more you do it, the more things you can play around with. You can have multiple speed ramps in one clip. You can change the smoothness, you can change the speed, and it's all about experimenting. Test and fail, test and fail, until you actually understand speed wrapping. You can do this on Final Cut, but for me, I know what I do this in Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Peter, you're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.